I've been homeless in there my whole life. Like, seriously, even with my mom and shit, so. I've been in and out of housing and stuff like that. And also being a felon. Um, I've been homeless for probably about like nine months now, so. They referred me to here and then they got me a quick. Like, I really appreciate that. I am aware of the services that Youth Link in Nicollet Square provides, and I know how to access the resources that I need. I somewhat agree because um, I know some of the services being how I have received some of the services but I don't feel like I am fully informed of the extent of all of the services. Uh, I strongly agree because um, I know like uh, which workers that can help me in providing with certain uh, services that I will need so um, there's nothing that I know that I don't know um, that can't really be uh, so I agree because they do the best they can and then they do got resources what you need unless you have. So I would say that I agree. I agree because for the most part when I first got here, they kind of let it be known the areas that they could help me in. And then when I came across other things that I needed help with, it was if they couldn't do it, they pointed me in the right direction and stuff. So I agree. And I, I agree also because um, there's been a lot of stuff that I need help on, and they like they low key helping me on like everything I needed. They never really like you know let up on stuff. Like they're really good on helping me like with like essentials and stuff like that. So. Uh, <laughs> Square resources, I have learned how to build and sustain a routine that promotes self-sufficiency and prepares me to transition out of the need for support services. I strongly agree because I've learned so many because they're using their brain and I'm using my brain, so it doesn't just take one person to just do that, so we have to work ourselves too. Oh, I strongly agree because, um, I don't know, uh, I, I think I feel like I know how my future is going to be set up, and if that's been the case, I think I'm uh, pretty good on being independent, you know what I'm saying, uh, get my crib and stuff like that, get my essentials and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, I said that I agree, um, probably just because I feel like they have helped me learn how to be more independent and really push me to do things independently that I didn't know how to do before. I feel like I agree because they definitely give you the foundation to do things more independently and stuff. I do feel like it is somewhat some micromanaging, but I, I understand why, I guess. But I do feel like I agree. I agree because um, I've already been kind of like given a little um, like examples of uh, stuff they can set up for me and I'm already kind of in like the role of um, already like pushing forward and trying to get my way out of here so. The services and resources are meant to keep us dependent on. I said that I disagree because I feel like although they are giving me resources to like help me get through, especially as youth, um, I feel like they're also at the same time teaching me how to be more independent and figure out how to do those things alone. That's why they give me the resources to figure out how to do it and then push me to be able to do it alone, just a process. So I said I disagree. Um, I strongly disagree just because I feel like they give us enough tools to like do it ourselves, but also I feel like self-sufficiency comes from like an individual person. Like when you put yourself in certain positions, you are not going to... When you utilize the opportunity that comes to you the way you should, you should put yourself in a position to where you should need to need it again, I guess necessarily, when you use it the right way. When you, So I just feel like personally, it's like an, an individual person kind of standpoint. So I disagree. 
I can't answer this one. Yeah, um, I strongly disagree because I feel like, you know, they give you the resources, um, not even just for, like, time being, but they also, like, push for your independence. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it does, like, come down to, um, like, different people and, like, whether they want to, like, sit there and take advantage of the resources or if they want to, like, use them to their um, the best ability to, like, push them forward. Um, see, I feel like they push you to at least somewhat not, like, feel like you don't need them as much in the future at all. Yeah. I strongly disagree because... Oh, okay, I strongly disagree because me working with the case manager for, like, you know, almost a year, like, he went in want you to be dependent because he want to push you into a long run, like, you can't, like, I would say, like, you got to learn how to fish in order to eat forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just expect to be getting feed every time, every time, every time. Like, that's not how we're, we're adults, so we're at the age of, that we had to do ourselves at the meantime. Reason why is a minimum age of 25. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so... Okay, I've never really stressed on like the help that they gave me. Um, whether it's like enough or not enough, I don't really care. That's all. That's why I said somewhat agree. Thanks for your responses. If you turn to the start point, I have needed to use housing services multiple times within one year or more. Um, I said that I strongly agree because I was a homeless minor for several years and um, the Youth Link specifically helped me with housing like in a shelter and then they're the ones that helped me get into this um, transitional housing right now. So uh, I strongly agree because I was all within a year. Um, I said disagree just because uh, any of the times in the past where I have needed help with housing or whatever. I feel like a lot of places give you the run around. They don't necessarily try to help you get in there or put you on. They kind of put you off to the next person and the next person kind of put you off to the next person and et cetera, et cetera. I feel like, honestly, for me, when my housing came through, it was kind of like, I just wanted to go talk to these people and they actually decided to care that day. It sounds crazy, but you know, like that's what it was. And then put me in the right direction, talk to the right people to get me set up to where I needed to be. I somewhat agree to that, you know, I've been almost damn there my whole life, like seriously, even with my mom and shit, so I use a lot of research as much as I can because how bad I was, like how down bad I was, and then somehow I went to the shelter Oak Street, ooh, they referred me to here and then they got me here quick, like I really appreciate that. Uh, um, I disagree just because um, other than coming here, I really haven't had to like use any other um, housing services or anything like that um, at that three, like you think, anything, so, yeah. Um, I say somewhat agree, disagree, I mean, because uh, when I was, um, when I was homeless, um, they, like, it was, a little, it was a little bit of a bumpy road, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, um, when I went to, uh, when I was homeless, I went straight to uh, Hope Street. And Hope Street, it was a bit of a bumpy road there. So then uh, when they tried to get me like uh, services through Youth Link and stuff like that, like housing services, it took like an extra eight months. And then I was homeless on the streets for an extra four months. So it was like I was homeless for like a whole year when, when the process should have been way, way faster. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Youth Link has actually they, I felt like they actually kind of forgot about me, in a sense, when, when I was homeless. So, yeah. When I, uh, when, I got, when I was actually homeless, it was a bit of a bumpy road, and uh, um, the process like then took like forever. And I only uh, got set up with, they were setting me up with coordinated entry, but that was going so slow that home uh, shelters forgot about me. Uh, you flint kind of forgot about me, and I was going there pretty periodically. But like when I was going there, the, like there was they were getting no work done, and I was speaking to like a worker specifically that was a housing manager or something like that, and 
he wasn't making my process. I got a call one day um, from uh, EFC, and they said, uh, you will be accepting, uh, will you accept this um, stipend of yada, 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 and yeah. Yifling didn't really help me, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it was more so the court system and uh, EFC. Uh, EFC is extended foster care. Yeah. I come to Nicollet Square and use YouthLink's resources and services for transformative experiences and opportunities. Like me personally, just being here, um, yeah, like uh, they've helped me like with uh, getting my GED and um, just a lot of stuff uh, just to push me forward. So I definitely have uh, used some of their services. Um, I somewhat agree because like. I come down for her, like, I talk to them about goal setting and other things that I'm trying to do. And it's just my first year, so really, I feel like I've just been trying to get into the flow of maintaining. But I really need them. I really needed them for, like, housing and things like that. So after I got into my spot and everything, it was kind of just, like, me getting settled and getting comfortable and getting on a, a continuous, like, schedule, like, kind of change my path or whatever, I guess you could say. Um, I've, I've, I've got a lot of resources from, uh, the you think and Nicholas Square, but, you know, some of them didn't help me, some of them I didn't really appreciate, and, you know, sometimes it is what it is, you know, you take the help that you can get, and other than that, you know, that's why I say some would agree. Um, I said that I agree because I come here for the, like, transformative experiences and resources, um, given the situation, so I have to say I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the programs and services that YouthLink and Nicollet Square provides help me be more independent long term. Uh, I say somewhat agree because I don't know about like long term, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some of the stuff that they help me with can like help for like, you know, stuff that's gone, like jobs for instance, you know. Jobs, once you get the job, you don't need help from whoever get, got you the job, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, that's, I just wouldn't say long term, that's why I said somewhat agree. But, you know, they do help me with stuff that helps me in the, in some type of, uh, you know, future aspect, but long term, I wouldn't say. Um, I said that I strongly agree because I'm already like a pretty independent person, I'd say it, but I feel like them giving like um, me the opportunity and resources and just information I need to strive as an independent person um, really seals the deal for me to say strongly agree. Um, I say strongly agree just because I just really needed help like building my foundation so then that way I could do what I need to do to put myself in a position to win. I just feel like now that I have like my own space and a place to like do what I gotta do and people that I know if I do like fall short that they're supporting me, it kinda just lets me know that like, you know, right now I'm still figuring out it's okay and in the future, like long run and long term. I'm gonna be good because I, I already know who I am. So yeah. Um, I picked the great just because um, like they do like they do like help me with like uh, planning for the future and stuff like that. Um, and like resources to help me get closer to like my goals that I want to reach in the future. But um, I feel like it also has to be like like in a person too. Also, so. Um, so just for me, like I'm not really just like hoping they provide me with everything. I'm just trying to figure stuff out myself too. Uh, I agree because even though they gave me resources, and some resources help. Okay, some resources help. Yeah, and some resources 
help and don't help, but it's still giving me an idea of what I need to do as an individual. Because I pay attention like how it works and I pay attention like I pay attention how it works and I pay attention like what I need to do. Even though they helping me, but it gave me an idea and I like the fact that they had gave me an idea. So that's why I agree. And that will conclude our Spectrum Activity Part 1. I wish there was more consistency so that it's not dependent on who your youth advocate is, on who, what staff members are there. If there was something uniform, you could know how to get help regardless of when you get here. Amen. Free